tropes. I suppose the, I suppose the title for this vlog is going to be quite easy. Dead baiting on a Cambridgeshire drain. Can we catch a fish in two hours? I've just finished work early for a change. Don't normally happen. And I've got two hours before it gets dark. So what do I do? Drive home an hour and a half and fish for half an hour? Or plonk up here and see if I can catch a fish in two? Well, that's the plan. See if I can catch a fish on the dead baits on a on a Cambridgeshire drain. I nearly said Lincolnshire again. I'm brainwashed on a Cambridgeshire drain within two hours. Now I'm, I'm up against it already because <laughs> apparently they had the British Pike Championships on the uh, Sunday, so it might well be fished out. You know what I mean? There's uh, it's a big old competition now, there's a lot of anglers, there's a lot of bank action, a lot of rods going in the water at the weekend, and you know, it could be difficult. But, got the baits out, I've got slight change on my, on my float, I've got a very, very small roach head on my circle hook rig, because there are Xander in here, and you know, so, I want a big bait for them, I just want something they're used to, which is a roach. Hair rig the head, that doesn't do any joy, I can always hair rig a whole body, it's no, no big deal. But I'm going to start off with a small head and then if that works, I'll, I'll use small sections of roach. And hopefully, I might even tempt a Xander just before it's getting dark. Don't know what the Xander form's like here anymore, I mean years ago it used to be good, but only time will tell. So that's the plan of action. Dead baiting on a Cambridgeshire drain. Can we catch a fish in two hours? Let's do this. Well this is a swim. My float is out there towards the bridge. Small roach head on my circle hook rig. Middle rod. Half a herring far side shelf and then my left hand rod whole sardine near side shelf so I've got one bait in the middle channel one on the far shelf one on the near shelf the middle channel there is about 10 11 foot deep as opposed to four five even six foot it slopes down slightly here in the margins so that's the plan of action. Slightly outside my comfort zone, but I don't mind that. I, you know, I mean, we all go fishing, don't we? I'll go fishing anywhere. There it is, that's the stretch, 20 foot river. As I say, there's the British Pike Championships on here at the weekend. So it might have received a lot of pressure. I know this is the end swim of the whole section, having visited the championships before. Only as a spectator, I've never, I don't fish pike matches. But I know this is the end swim, so I'm hoping, I mean I could have gone the other side of the bridge, but I'm hoping that the fish at this end of the section didn't receive as much pressure as the rest of the section. Let's see what the day brings, well, afternoon. half hour in, time for a quick change around. I know what you were thinking earlier, you think he's getting his excuses in early. 
Flaming Pike Championships or in case I blank. <laughs> well, <laughs> it just goes to show you, though, it doesn't matter what venue you're fishing, if you haven't been there for a few days or even the day prior, you don't know what you're walking into when you go into your swim. You know, you don't know if someone's been camped there for three days solid fishing or you don't know if there's a fish there it's one of those things isn't it you take you on trust you turn up you cast out you hope well, with a lot of prep goes in it and a lot of knowledge as well you know once you've been doing it a while and watercraft all the rest of it comes into play but at the end of the day you don't know what was there before you so as I say we had the pike championship on here but it looks lovely so I'm um, as I say, I'm going to have a quick change around. It's been half hour. Didn't put the baits in on the fish, so let's move them around. Yet. Mind you, asking for trouble with dead baits. It's not exactly a proactive method, really, unless you're wobbling them. Had a little swap around, changed my sardine bait. Not holding up to too much casting sardine, so I put half Joey Macro on, herring middle rod, still got the roach head on the, the float rod, positioned that closer to the bridge, near side channel. Go again, see if there's anything around. Fingers crossed, toes crossed. <laughs> well, here we are, last chance saloon. Change hats, <laughs> put my lucky hat on, see if that changes fortunes. Head torch is just about to go on. Lights fading fast. Epic failure, really. <laughs> But what are you going to do? You, you know, you've got very limited time to get out on the bank. I finish work early. What do you do? Go home, sit and watch the telly? Or have you got a spare two? Well, it's going to be turned out two and a half hours. Get the rods out and see if you can catch something. And that's what I've done. I mean, I could have got a little rod out. You know, and bought the banks. and But it's not really my style of fishing. I, you know, I don't mind law fishing, but it's not my cup of tea. I like to set my traps and see if I can catch a big girl. Obviously, when you've got a lightning fast session, you're never going to guarantee anything like that. But you never know. You know, you could plonk down in a swim, put your baits out, and you could have a fish on every rod, every cast. It's just one of those things when you're fishing rivers and drains. Fish are there, you'll catch it, they're not, you won't. So, I mean, I don't mind, as I said. It'd be nice to get a <laughs> fish for the camera, though, isn't it? I mean, it's not much fun for you guys watching <laughs> if, you, uh, if you're not seeing fish count. I mean, leave a, leave a comment below. Is it a waste of time me posting blank sessions? Or is it a warts and all account of real everyday fishing on natural venues I mean it's up to you guys leave a, as I say leave a comment below let me know I mean if obviously you don't want to see me sitting here blanking don't blame you really I mean we all go fishing for different reasons but the main reason is to catch fish we all want to catch fish but I'm you know ever the optimist it ain't dark yet so I'll keep going put my trusty head torch on well, that's the end of that chapter. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget, comment in the section below. Let me know whether you're 
sick and tired of watching people blank or you just want to see fish catches or do you want to just see the content because you know I mean it's a fishing diary really I go I only get to go once a week not guaranteed to catch every week on a natural venue look at that sky I could sugarcoat it and only post videos of me catching fish but that's not the way it works all the time so again once again thanks again to the end of this video if you have <laughs> watching an idiot sit by the riverside blanking but hey I there's always next time.